Hello YouTube. I hope everybody's doing great. This is just a small update on my ESP S3 with dual display, touch, Wi-Fi and uh, some other items that I'm working on. And um, sorry for the wiring mess, but uh, that's how it goes when you're trying to figure out the pins that you can use. So I have here a 2.6 inch capacitive touch uh, display. Here is the one point, I forgot, 1.47 I think inch display with the rounded corners. And uh, it's connected to an ESP S3. Oh, this one is connected in SPI and this one is connected with 8-bit parallel. So I have a switch on here that I can toggle to turn them on and as you can see they both turn on and now they turned the small one did turn off I will tell you in a second why so anyway that's just the reset pin and I also wanted to show you actually that uh, the backlight of this display is currently connected to my um, external power supply because uh, no pin will be able to power the four backlight LEDs it has so that's why it's white if I turn it off it turns black and there is two different types of displays this one is with white background um, now to white transmissive and this one is black transmissive so on this one if the backlight is on but there's nothing displayed on the display then it's black on this one if the backlight is on nothing is displayed the display is white so that's the two differences here <clears throat> I don't know why I'm getting out of uh, breath but I'm standing maybe that's why so anyway this is connected to reset and I have this so you see that both displays are working this was in setup and now it's switched to this one to the big one and i have wi-fi working here oh and by the way if you tilt your head to the right you can read thank you Tobozo, and thank you for lovian o3 uh, for the great library and Tobozo for helping me out with the code without him it would take me probably weeks to figure out what he can figure out in an hour so or even less anyway i had help with the double display working with the parallel and spi at the same time and whatnot so anyway my application calls for an internal and external display and right now i have it connected to this touch sensor and i can switch it and here you see the small one it has scrolling text they're both working for this configuration I will when I switch the displays turn also the backlight off to save power obviously so but I can switch back and forth to the displays and they're both working they're just turning on and off depending on my touch sensor or in my case it will be uh, input and I also wanted to show you this display has actually uh, two touch but in this code I have just one enabled and you can see the readout here uh, by the way this is recorded in 4k so if you want nice crisp image check your YouTube setting and here you can see how the touch is working even though the clock is working as well with over Wi-Fi in the background so this is actually I think I probably forgot something um, yeah this display the cap capacitive touch display has also an interrupt pin and the reset pin I'm not sure if I'm gonna control the resets individually or pull them together on one pin and the interrupt pin will also be used to wake up the display which works as well but I don't have it in this code because I have this switching here to the smaller one and the bigger one which works instantaneously 
and the library is really great Baltimore has also a great library thank you for him as well um, but uh, Lovians is just a tick about in certain areas three times faster because Baltimore's library supports more displays oh by the way <clears throat> the display driver on this one is the actually it says here the illy 9342c it is i think and this one the smaller one is uh, has the st7789 display driver and they're both supported the 92 is actually almost the same as the 9341 which is very popular this one has 240 by 320 pixels and this one has the 176 by 320 i i don't know why i'm out of shape here um but this is it if you have any questions please let me know i will once i have a base code running i will put it on my github uh, i don't have much there i think right now and but i will share and you can that way you can also see which pins i'm using because on certain pins pins i thought it's working <coughs> for example before doing the uh, dual display touch uh, dual display running on the at the same time um i had the displays individually working and then i uh, enabled both of them and then this one did not work and just by accident, I touched wires here, not really, I mean, obviously isolated, but touching wires here made this one flicker. And then I said, well, it can be only the pins, and I moved the pins to other pins, to other GPIOs, and then it started working. So, what I go through trouble here, uh, if you want to use, if you have ever a setup like this, it will help you with the pin configuration so anyway this is it if you have any questions please leave them in the comments i also want to thank uh, my patreons and also if you like the video please do subscribe or click the like button subscribe and hit the notification bell and um, you can also buy me coffee if you like or uh, use one of my affiliate links through Banggood or use the main one and then choose whatever you wish, wish to buy yeah, everything helps a little bit and um, yes today it's a short one so thanks for watching and take care everybody